Welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids. In this lecture we are going to solve example on moment of inertia of different shapes. So let us start with the problem. So this is the problem given. Find moment of inertia about centroidal axis of symmetrical I section with flanges 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick and web 280 mm deep and 10 mm thick. So here we need to work out the moment of inertia about centroidal axis means both xx and yy axis and the section given here is symmetrical I section which is having flanges 100 mm wide and 10 mm thick. The dimensions of web are also given. So let us draw the figure first. So this is the figure given, I section which is having flange dimension 100 mm by 10 mm and web dimension is 280 mm by 10 mm. Now the I section is symmetrical about both X axis and Y axis. So centroid of the figure can be directly work out. So this point is centroid of I section. I section is symmetric about both xx and yy axis. So x bar and y bar can be directly obtained. Let us work out x bar and y bar first. So x bar that is total dimension of the figure along x axis divided by 2. So that is 100 by 2 and x bar has been obtained as 50 mm and y bar that is the total dimension of the figure along y axis and divide by 2. So total dimension of the figure along y axis is 280 plus 10 by 10 means it is 300 and half of that that is 150 mm that is y bar. So this point is centroid of figure which is at 150 mm from reference x axis and 3 mm from reference x axis. Now let us work out IXX and IYY. Now if, if we divide the figure like this means this is first rectangle, this is second rectangle and this is third rectangle. Now let us mark the centroid of this three part in this position. So centroid of first part is this, centroid of second part is this and centroid of third part is this. So all the three centroid are lying along the centroidal axis of figure. So IYY that is summation of moment of inertia of first figure plus second figure and plus third figure. But in this case all three centroid are not lying along X axis. So in this case we need to use parallel axis theorem. In the other simple method we can divide the figure in such a way that the component part of three centroid lying along x axis. So let us see how it can be done. If we divide the figure like this means this is the first complete rectangle and this part that is second rectangle and this much part that is third rectangle. So in this case let us mark the centroid of all figure. So this is the centroid of first figure this point is centroid of second figure and this is the centroid of third figure. Now all these three are lying in the same x axis of the complete figure. When the centroid of component part are lying along the centroid of the complete figure, the moment of inertia can be directly obtained by the summation. So here I x x will be equal to I x x 1 minus i x x 2 minus i x x 3 because from the complete figure we will deduct this two part. So let us write the equation. So i x x that is i x x 1 that is moment of inertia of complete figure minus moment of inertia of part 2 and part 3. So the equation is b1 d1 cube by 12 minus b2 d2 cube by 12 minus b3 d3 cube by 12. So for first figure b is 
hundred and the total dimension along y is three hundred. So value has been equated. For the second figure, total dimension along x-axis of the figure is hundred minus the wave thickness is ten. So remaining portion will be forty five forty five. So for this portion, b is forty five and d is given to eighty. So value for second and third figure has been equated and after calculation the moment of inertia about xx axis has been obtained as 60.36 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to 4. So it, is, it will be easy if we divide the figure in such a way that the centroid are lying in the same line of the figure. Now let us work out IYY. In order to work out YY, now we'll divide the figure like this. So centroid of all component part are lying along the Y centroidal axis of figure. So moment of inertia will be obtained as simply summation of moment of inertia of all the three component part. So let us write the equation. So here the value of IYY has been kept. I, we know that IYY that is dB cube by 12. So value of D and B for all the figure has been equated. For first figure the value of D is 10 and the value of B is 100. For the second figure the value of B that is 10 and value of D is 280. And for the third figure the value of D is 10 and B is 100 mm. So all the values have been equated here and the value of IYY has been calculated and it has been obtained as 1.69 to 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to 4. So this way such problem can be solved. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.